The sequel is now paused. The red really is comforting, and I feel really safe right now. I'm going to die. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Bucket! Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed over him. I did it. Wait, isn't that like a sequence or something? I feel like that's, a, that's some sort of weird puzzle. I think Stanley there's a... clung the bucket to his cheek. Could his co-workers really all be gone? All of them? My door closed behind me. It's rude. I thought you were my only friend, door. I'm sorry that I said that in front of you, Bucket. Didn't mean to. What is your deal? I don't remember. Hmm. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Or did I? Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Yes. Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Oh no. We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait. Now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends, that your relationship is purely superficial and convenient, that your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the Bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the Bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. The Bucket is to be shared. Everyone gets to have the Bucket. Okay. I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. There. <laughs> now it's settled. No more debate. No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. It's mine now. Now I can comfortably exist within the bucket forever. I mean, the, the closet All right. forever. I've got a second sticker back here, and what? I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. You see? I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. Whoa. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Oh, it's a bucket. There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. Or that one, and only that one. But sure. 
You know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. And to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. <laughs> I like the broom closet ending. That broom closet ending is my favorite. How long do we wait? Before we know. I've got a cosmetic bucket now. It's, it's got my name on it. It's got a bucket on it. Strange choice, but okay. I've never been crazy into stickers. I get stickers from things, and then I'm like, you go in an envelope with all the other stickers, because I'm like... One, they're like, you just get the one. A lot of them are from weird, like, perks or one-off things or someone that and they'll, they'll never exist again. And also, like, you put them on something and then it's like this, it's like this, like, it's like a temporary thing. So, like, it can, like, like, kind of wear and warp and peel and so on. But also, like, it doesn't come off cleanly when it does start going bad. So you get, like, scraps of sticker on the thing. And so it's like, do I want sticker effects on this other thing like isn't that gonna i don't know like ruining this other object with my stickers so it's like where do i put all my stickers what do i what is what is sticker culture i need an explanation i don't think he's coming back i think we officially bored him i wonder if these will stick out or not staircase, stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office i sure did but stanley just couldn't do it he considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. The bucket returned his gaze but said nothing at all. That's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized. He returned my gaze. I didn't realize that gay people come with a warranty. This isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. But it's got my Surely name on it. What uh. good would come from this? Who knows Bye. what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket? And indeed, now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, gracious. Oh, nope, there I go. Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, it's me, the bucket. Could it truly? <gasps> so he many buckets. From room to room but which one is mine? One bucket after the next. None of them were his. None of them were his special bucket. Come to me, Stanley. Find me. That was the one he with my name on it, not bucket. mine. He had to return to his own <gasps> It's also spilled. It the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. Oh, that sounds painful. I'm gonna need surgery. <laughs> Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. Yeah, I, 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 at least we're on the same page about how bad it is to have a bucket inside of you. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Oh. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. Of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. 
perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought, and she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass, and she backflipped all the way to work. Well, that's what I've been doing wrong my entire life. I don't have a bucket. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Can my bucket be a hyena, though? It's still got stickers the on confusion it. How did I ever lose you? All seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. Got it. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Or did I? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. Am I going up the... I'm going up it a little bit. Let me go. I'm taller now. Okay, why though? Yeah. Truly, being here with the bucket was a grand adventure. Yes. Stanley reflected on all they'd been through together. First, walking through the door on the right. Then walking to the lounge. Then arriving at the lounge. What a thrilling journey the bucket had inspired. Yep. What future adventures we might we have? Perhaps this was where the bucket felt most truly at home. Here in the employee lounge. Perhaps it's the only place a bucket can even feel at home. I'm just going to stay here for the next 20 minutes. That's the rest of the episode. Stanley decided to just give the bucket absolutely as much time as it needed to be in the lounge. Clearly, the bucket and the employee lounge shared a special connection. Are you vibing, Bucket? Are you... <laughs> Why did it have the same cadence of like, are you winning something? Are you vibing, Bucket? Just fucking thought noise come out the face hole and then express itself to everybody. There it goes. All right. Plot twist, I'm going to actually go but back. Finally, the bucket was done being in the lounge, and they took the first open door on their left to get back to business. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Yep. Oh, I slipped and fell and broke fate. Oh, good, Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. No, not the baby. Wait, is this an intervention? Is the baby staging an intervention? I don't like... You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. About the bucket? We've come together here because we care about you very much. My friends are the it's line in the bl broom closet? around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the adventure line and the broom closet. Because that's <laughs> what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story? Oh, I like your presence too much. Line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. What have you done? We're going to go on another adventure line adventure. Is that what you want from me? Is that all I am to you? A line follower? What do you think you're doing? You need to grow the fuck up, bro. It's been nine years. I was as old as you are when I saw the Phantom Menace. You just 
you don't have anything to say to me? Oh, I, oh, I'm the fire baby. Save me with the button. I'll never grow up. It's immature. Get a job. <laughs> Get a job at age nine. <laughs> Whee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Wasn't this the trailer music or something? Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Oh, Don't yeah. you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> yes. It's as classic now as it was back then. Why did you have that on a cassette friends, player? Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Oh. Like an organ or like my dignity. I already lost that. I'm a YouTuber. I don't know if you caught up with that part. Like it's gone. I just embarrass myself as a professionally. That's like what I do. <laughs> don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that Is to it? me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Narrator, Portal came out 15 years ago. We've done this before. Does. Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. I Go ahead now, it. Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. How do I defeat the Bucket Destroyer? Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the Bucket. No. I don't know what the Bucket Destroyer will do if it can't destroy your Bucket. Destroying Buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you'd see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now, the fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and... I don't negotiate with terrorists. The Bucket Destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you. All of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. Everywhere you look. <laughs> so stupid. Oh no, that's the elegy of Bucket Destroyer. I, I don't get to keep my bucket anyway. It's gone. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley it means bucket time! Meeting. Warmth spread through Stanley's arms. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. Is everybody enjoying Stanley the bucket arc? The bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I wonder how it'll end. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Maybe in the end we're all bucket. After all. Become secretary bucket. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley I am the most expensive boss. Dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. 
Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. You're right, I don't know that. So I'll just hang out and not know that. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Yep. Trying to input. Which is hard to do with a bucket in your hand. Since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Nope. 2845. <laughs> just hanging. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, <laughs> and the door just opened all by itself, and Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. <laughs> Die mad. No. Be mad at me. I have a short attention span if you don't say anything back. But I won't, but I'm trying to play a game of chicken where I keep make I just keep calling your bluff, but it, I only call it for like 30 seconds and then I'm like, "Oh shit, wait, hang on a minute." The audience. <laughs> Property of Stanley. I unlock the cosmetics for the bucket like immediately, which is a sentence I just said. Bucket cosmetics. It's one of the collectibles. You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Tried to spend all that Beginner's Guide money. Was Beginner's Guide... That cost money? I don't remember. I think the tiger one was free. The, the whirlwind heist or whatever. That was the goofiest thing. Probably the least memorable one of, of the bunch, but I remember it vaguely. <laughs> I played that. The it's elevator in the raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. In case it wasn't clear, the the playlist for this video, this game has the original game and this expansion, but I also include the, uh, the Whirlwind Heist and Beginner's Guide, because they're both like one video each. <laughs> so I just put the entire things in. In there. And I put an icy, which is not made by these people, but it's, it's inspired by them directly. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read <gasps> Mind Control Facility. Or did Although I? this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. Hot. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. That'll be interesting because it takes very different things to kill both of us. Also, the bug is not alive, even if Stanley thinks it is. Wee. I did it. I. Rumors of my death were greatly exaggerated. Oh, am I on a... I'm in a thingy. It's going. 
Oh, that's not a good sign. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. Oh, no. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket. But what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself, and he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. When you're about there to die, I think a sense of ease is actually what a good time for that, actually. Would you like stress? Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end as it was crushed violently to death. Oh. Am I getting wheat lead? Did the narrator just die? Ah. Uh. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. <laughs> the bucket welcomes you to the grand exhibit. You are standing at the precipice of knowledge. Much like a bucket itself, the human mind is frequently empty within, a, ca a cavernous void. But through use of the exhibit, in front of you, the, uh, the mind becomes full and enriched and substantiated. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only true knowledge we really have. Will you take what you learn from here out with you into the world? Will you accept with an open mind what may be challenging about the information in this exhibit? Will you change the lives of yourself and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live as you were, in ignorance and darkness, but enjoying the taste of fake code steak? Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? There's so Can many. Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? The blatantness of this, claiming that this photo contains 25 buckets. Jeez. A photograph of 25 buckets, the greatest number of buckets ever captured on camera. The photographer experienced catatonic shock for several weeks as a result of the euphoria from exposure to this many buckets at once. There's at least 45 buckets. Duh. Don't you dare. Da Vinci bucket! <laughs> Completely defeating the purpose of the framing around it. A bucket with two handles. Ah! <gasps> This bucket is depicted as having two handles. Such a design has never been created in real life, having been deemed too dangerous and recklessly experimental. Each year, every year, dozens are put to death just for attempting it. Oh, that sounds incredibly ethical. The Inferno Bucket. A replica of the Inferno Bucket, which was the medieval era, which in the medieval era was so powerfully alluring that it drove dozens of nations to war with one another for control of it. Billions died, and yet in spite of it all, the simple fact remains no one can control a bucket. It's just a wooden bucket. This used to be the video game museum, wasn't it? That was like a museum about the Stanley Parable. The stress bucket, present without commentary. Worrying, negative forecasting, negative thinking, lack of reassurance. Vulnerability equals the size and strength of the bucket. Coping strategies equals holes. Rest and relaxation, do something you enjoy, rest and relaxation. Stress, the level of the bucket. You say it without commentary, but there's a lot of commentary in the piece, so, you know. I'm not sure it quite has the meaning you were hoping for, or the lack thereof. There's a lot of booty on that one person in the middle. And there's the deer bucket. The deer like the bucket as well. Big fans. The cave, cave drawing. Well, we know that buckets predate the existence of mankind. <laughs> We do not know by how long. This cave drawing depicts early man's discovery of the practical uses of the bucket, which, by which time the bucket had already likely been around for several millennia. Notice in these drawings how the bucket is allowed to itself is allowing itself to be used, having judged humanity to be worthy of its treasures. Ah, uh, predates mankind. No man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It but is it has man my name who on should it. kneel before the bucket. No. The hanging bucket. Whoa. 
This piece symbolizes the necessary relationship between Bucket and humanity. However clear a grasp of the Bucket may be, there is yet more that is always out of reach. This distance inevitably is for our own good. Uh-oh. Wee. Uh. Oh. A wily coyote all the way to the bucket out of sheer but force of will. But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, Help. as commander of a new world, a new vision. For well. Glory to the Bucketariat?